Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video we'll be taking a look at a free piece of software you can download to remove malware. It's called No Viruses Thanks. You can get it from this website here. It's a free download. I've never used it before so I want to give it a test in this video. Now I've infected this virtual box here just to see how it fares and how it cleans up the system. Uh, I've read a bit about it and it's had some good reviews. So what I want to do is give it a test. Now what I will do is I'll run a scan with this and then I'll run Malwarebytes afterwards to see what is left behind. So what we can do here is run a scan now. So I'll try and run a scan and maybe uh, it might stop me from running this scan. We'll soon see. I'm getting redirects there. Okay, as you can see, getting a load of rubbish popping up and it's uh, this is obviously TDSS uh, file. It's stopping me from actually running this so what we may need to do is may need to go into safe mode to see if we can run the program in safe mode so I'll quickly uh, reboot the system and uh, I shall see you in safe mode now what we're going to do is tap on F8 to get into safe mode so I've already updated it so I'm just going to go in safe mode without networking at this stage because I don't want to be connected to the internet and we'll just see if we can run the program in safe mode. I'm not too sure if we can yet, so we'll just need to see. So I'll let this boot up. Okay, so we're going to uh, test. Load this up. Now remember, this is a virtual machine, just so I can show you guys how to uh, remove it from here, but it will work the same way on a normal computer so let this load in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually fire this up and see if it will allow me to run which it will do okay so now we've got the program open because it won't let me run in normal mode I'm going to run this in safe mode and that's the best way to go around it now some programs don't let you run in safe mode for some reason but some do um, so let's have a little look English everything's okay we've got the settings up here as you can see um, auto update I've got there and uh, move down a little bit as you can see here delete I've got these little tabs here click on that and use aggressive deletion I've put that in there you can create a restore point if you want to by putting a tick in there which is always a good good thing to do and uh, backing up report so let's just do a scan do a quick type scan we'll do a full scan afterwards we can do uh, use paranoid scan that looks pretty good I'll put the tick in there as well just to make sure it picks up everything okay let's uh, try a quick scan see what we can find let's just leave this running okay the scans nearly finished it's found three items so far it's only a quick scan so what we'll do is we'll see how it fares now I'm not suggesting this is going to replace Malwarebytes or anything like that but what you can do is use it in conjunction with Malwarebytes or Super Anti Spyware or something like that to help you uh, rid yourself from malware so let's uh, see what the scan comes up with doesn't look very promising so far with only three bits there I'm pretty sure there'll be more than that on there but we'll soon see okay so uh, do you want to open a report we can do that if we wanted to but I'm going to say no for this uh, video so I'm just going to click these here and remove these Okay, it needs a reboot it's saying so as you can see there it's saying it's deleted them and it needs a reboot so let's uh, give it a reboot and let's try and get to the desktop now the normal desktop rather than safe mode and see how it fares okay Windows is logging in. Okay, we can see something here is trying to install cleansweep.exe. We should say no to that. 
and uh, what we need to do now is give Malwarebytes a scan and see what happens see if it starts up ok it lets me open this up, I wonder if it will let me lo open this other program up ok so let me open this other program now whereas before it wasn't so let's give it another scan give it a fair chance, we'll give it a, a full scan this time from uh, the desktop to make sure it gets a fair chance ok we'll do a full scan here and then scan should let that run ok it's found clean sweep ok it's found a few others now, it didn't obviously delete those two which it said it was going to delete on the reboot ok so that's the scan finished it's a very quick scan, I'll give it that, it's quicker than all the other ones that I've used but it's no good being quick if it doesn't remove any of the uh, malware, that, malware that we're asking it to remove so I'm just going to let this remove this now ok deleted, needs reboot, warning this keeps opening for some reason ok we'll do another reboot I'll pause here ok we'll let this reboot in ok that's back ok so let's have a little look now uh, with malware bytes and see what's left and see what is left behind uh, we'll see if we get any redirects ok I can see we are getting already redirects or Chinese language pack going in as you can see here which is not a good sign so it hasn't done a very good job I've already updated uh, Malwarebytes so I'm just going to give it a quick scan found three straight away, five ok as you can see the scan is still going, it is a quick scan we're doing and it's already found 26 infections so it's not looking good for uh, um, no, no viruses thanks so let's have a little look, 35 so we're going to have a quick look here now and as you can see it's found a fair bit a backdoor bot registry key file so it's left files behind backdoor bot there ok some other files here Trojan and I suppose it was supposed to be deleting this file here but it never did it left it behind so that's not good so what we'll do is uh, remove these let this remove and I'll give this a full scan I'll restart the computer and give the full scan anyway I think you can get the general idea on that so I think this is a, a thumbs down for this uh, software really no virus thanks maybe I'll give it another test a little bit later on with some other against some other stuff but I mean um, it, it is free I suppose and uh, it's worth having in your arsenal if you want to uh, scan for malware but it didn't really get rid of much really in my opinion I'll let you make your own decisions okay so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks guys for watching thanks for your support um, if you enjoyed my videos please remember hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again shortly bye for now